if you had a friend who likes to speak negative to you, and you just couldn't get rid of this friend, what would you do? I would tell the friend, excuse me, I have an important task to do right now. But pause your thoughts. I will get back to you shortly. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster and guests, my name is Peter Lia. I was born in Taiwan. When I was six months old, I had polio. The virus attacked my nervous system and resulted in weak right leg. As a child, I was happy with my healthy leg, or I walked wobbly when I wore my brace. My mother took good care of me. She knew all my needs and she provided a safe environment for me to grow up, which I appreciated. But sometimes she did it too much. For example, she would talk to my school teacher about my leg so that I could sit aside during the gymnastic class. And for me, that's embarrassing because I don't like to be special because my handicap. I remember one day I snuck out of my home and I hopped into the middle of the tar road. It was a hot summer day. I was three and I learned thermodynamic 101, heat transfers. <laughs> I needed shoes to get across the street. I was stuck in the middle of the road and um, I cannot get to the either side efficiently because of my speed of walking. The sensation of the heat came rapidly to my, my body and I was crying out loud. It was my mother who heard me and rushed out, rescued me from being grilled. I had mixed mixture feelings about my mother's love. I know she wanted to protect me, but I want to show her that I could take care of myself. So when I was an undergraduate, one day I told her, I want to continue my graduate study in America because they have the best biomedical engineering program there, and that's what I want to study. To my amazement, my mother let me pursue my dream without much negotiation. And during my a long time without her, I did well. Even when she was worried about me all the time. I completed my master's degrees in Florida, and I get the admission letter from biomedical engineering at the University of Southern California. My mother was so excited, not because of my degree, but because she could take a direct flight from Taipei to Los Angeles to see me. <laughs> and she did. So I told her, I have an important um, interview opportunity with a professor. Can get me full scholarship. I need to prepare for this, so don't bother me. And my mother said, great, I will go with you. <laughs> <laughs> with a look of anticipation, and I mumbled, oh no, please don't screw up this for me. <laughs> so when we get to the campus, my mother probably sensed my nervousness and the reluctance. So she told me she would like to take a walk around the campus, and I go my, myself. She told me, I know you will do well, and I don't want to embarrass you during the interview, but Leave your fear here with me. I will watch it for a while. <laughs> and you just go in and talk to your professor. And suddenly, I was relieved. So I get in, I nailed the interview, and I got a scholarship. My mother showed me a way to stay calm. When fear comes, treat it like an annoying friend that you cannot get rid of. Tell them to hold on until you get things done. This method helps me to get through many challenges in life. Today, I'm still afraid of doing many things. But when time is critical, I can now confidently draw an invisible circle 
and ask all my negative feelings, friends, stay inside. I will see you later. That was nice to meet you. I really, really enjoyed Peter's speech. I like that it was a well-rounded story, and he had that quote in the beginning, or the question in the beginning, that when he tied it to the end, I'd almost forgotten about the question, but then we, I liked how he told the whole story, and then brought it all together at the end. Um, strong points. I think the audience was glued in from start to finish, so I thought that was a really, that was really cool how you were able to engage us, and you did a really good job at using your space. So the scene, you get energetic, and then at the, the good parts, that you would slow down, so you'd like kind of lean in, and then you at the best parts, when there was like the climax, and you would raise your voice and use hand gestures, and I thought that was really awesome. And you seemed comfortable the whole way through, and a lot of times when I start, I'm a little bit stuttery at the beginning until I get comfortable, but from start to finish, it was very strong. Um, and I didn't have anything to improve, but I didn't see any weak points, so awesome job.